Welcome to A Night with Nailba. I'm Katie Failinger, and I'm so thrilled to join you for this very special evening. Tonight, we come together in recognition and celebration. A bit later, you'll see the Nailba Charitable Foundation's Corporate Support Showcase and hear the 2020 Grant Award winners. We'll have the opportunity to honor and toast this year's Douglas Moore's Award for Excellence recipient and this evening's main event, we will be treated to a show from James Beard Foundation award-winning chef, Michael Salamanoff. But before we get into tonight's lineup, we wanna take just a moment to congratulate Jim Sorbo on being named the new president of the Nailba Charitable Foundation. Jim joins me now, and Jim, I speak for the entire Nailba community in saying that this is a very well-deserved role for you, and we know you're gonna do a fantastic job. Oh, Katie, thank you so much. I'm really excited to have a chance to chat with you today. Yeah, so for those who may not know you, can you just give us a little background about you, your role in the industry, and especially your role with Nailba in, in recent years? I, I'd be happy to. Uh, I've been in financial services since 1979. I started a company called Four Seasons Financial Group in 1993 and grew it to over 3,000 registered reps working in the bank and the broker-dealer space for life, annuities, and long-term care. We were Bramco members and I sat on the board there after we joined them in 1999. We were ALU members and I was part of the inaugural brokerage task force as we ventured into redefining their membership. Around that same time, I was approached to join the NALBA board in January of 2013. I really was honored to be the chairman of the board in 2017. That along with hiring Dan Labert as NALBA's CEO in the fall of that year, I hope will be a good legacy. Dan has done an awesome job and I'm proud to call him a friend. Wonderful. And you know, with you being a past chairman of Nailba, you've dedicated quite a few years to the association. Time on the board, as you mentioned, that rise up in chairs. So why come back now to serve as the Nailba Charitable Foundation president? <laughs> Great question, Katie. Uh, my wife, Kathy, is asking me the same thing. Um, <laughs> Seriously, I've always been a giver. I found that I've gotten more from life and business by helping others get what they want and need first, and then I'll ultimately get what I need. So I got involved in the insurance business because my dad suffered from a disability for six years and died when I was 18 and he was very young, 56. My mother, a very strong German woman, didn't recommend, she insisted I buy a life insurance policy when I was 21 years old. She had seen the benefits of what that had done for her and she wanted the same thing for me. So I lost my sister to the same condition when she was 49. My mother passed away after suffering four years in an assisted living center with dementia. My other sister died at age 60 after suffering for 10 years being bedridden due to a brain aneurysm. So I've seen the benefits of what we do and I'm very, very passionate about it. You know, the last part of the story I think, you know, is um, I started seeing some changes after sitting on the Nelba board and working on a national basis. And I decided to sell Four Seasons. I saw distribution changing. And in November of 2018 at the Nelba convention, I announced the sale of Four Seasons to Highland Capital Brokerage. Unfortunately, nine months later, I was diagnosed with cancer. So I guess it was kind of my turn in the family. I'm blessed to be cancer free since Friday the 13th, my now lucky day in, from December of 2019. And this has really helped me, I, I don't know, focus on what's really important to me and how I want to continue to give back to the industry that's been so good to me. Our friends at Life Happens actually had heard my story and asked them to join their newly founded Speakers Bureau in the beginning of this year. And I was really honored when I was the first speaker chosen to, to speak up from this group with Ohio National Financial Group. We did that, of course, virtually in, in spring of this year. And I talked about positivity and gratitude. So, when the Nelba board came to me along with Dan and, and, and knocked me on my door, I really couldn't say no. Um, so Katie, let me just kind of share the mission of NCF, the foundation and why I'm, I, I think again, I'm here. 
Um, the NELBA Charitable Foundation is where the altruism meets the business of NELBA. Since its creation in 2002, the foundation was encouraged volunteerism in the NELBA communities. NELBA members and their corporate partners are encouraged to sponsor a charity they feel is working towards its mission of making dreams come true for those less fortunate. The mission of the NELBA Charitable Foundation is to encourage philanthropy and business to work hand in hand, helping others who are at risk. Since its beginning, the NELBA Charitable Foundation has awarded over $3 million in grants, all in NELBA communities, I might add. Every charitable organization applying for grant funding must be sponsored by a NELBA member, agency, exhibitor, sponsor, or advertiser. In a time when competition for grant money is fierce, the NELBA Charitable Foundation is dedicated to providing funds to well-run charities and communities that may not otherwise have access to additional funding. You can actually visit our grants page, a little advertising here, for complete details on how to help a charity in your community apply for a grant from the NELBA organization. I am wondering uh, if this means then, Jim, if you are going to be bringing back the famous Spartan helmet that we saw a few years back for your new role. <laughs> um, I'm wondering how, how are you going to lead NAILBA Charitable Foundation efforts? You know, what opportunities will the board evaluate under your new leadership? You know, it's amazing what you get remembered for, Katie. <laughs> As you can see right behind me, can you see the helmet? Sure can. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm big on symbolism and things that help me focus on, on what's important. So I think the symbolism, again, is appropriate with the helmet in the movie 300. The smaller Spartan army fighting back the millions of invading Persians. First, while outmanned, the, the Spartans were true accountable warriors versus the forces the Persians used in battle. Same thing here. We'll use accountability from the foundation board, our members and partners to help come up with superior ways to position NCF in our community. As part of it, we'll look to make NCF self-supporting on a financial basis over the next few years, able to fight the battle on a position or strength going forward. Second, carrier foundation alignment. Are there ways NCF can align with carrier foundations and identify solutions together? I believe there are, and we'll start those conversations. Finally, those thinking outside the nine dots are potential pivot opportunities that arise from creativity. What about legacy and memorial scholarships? How about investing in education professional development opportunities for those looking to join our industry? These are the things as a president, along with a great board that we'll be looking at initially. It's exciting stuff. And, you know, the NELBA Foundation has a very long history of community support. You know, since its beginning, the NELBA Charitable Foundation has awarded, as you mentioned, over three million dollars in grants, all in NELBA communities and every charitable organization applying for grant funding. It's worth repeating, must be sponsored by a NELBA member agency, exhibitor, sponsor or advertiser. And NELBA CEO Dan LeBert did mention in 2019 that it's a goal to give the award committee a little bit of a headache by increasing the number of application requests to 100 even by 2023. So what do you think, Jim? I mean, can this be done? And what really is stopping NELBA member agencies and partners from sponsoring community grant funding? You know, a, a great question, Katie. I believe the short answer is yes. I believe it can be done. There's nothing stopping NALBA member agencies and partners from sponsoring community grant funding. As long as everyone wins and mutual needs are met, I see no reason why a focus, strength, and accountability, we couldn't potentially offer hundreds of college scholarships or grants to those looking to join the insurance industry, just as an example. Mm -hmm. So imagine the DBS agency and Chip and Tory's team working with Securian and Prudential in Minnesota to offer five to 10 students a chance to go to college and have multiple suitors ready to hire them. How cool would that be? Everybody wins and we change a huge problem facing our industry. Or here's another brainstorming opportunity. I love to do this. <laughs> Where would we have been as an industry if we hadn't gone virtual? I can't imagine it actually. 
Same thing goes for Nalba. Our digital footprint has gotten huge via the ID network. Over 29,000 views on our website are done monthly. 1,100 BGAs, 338,000 advisors seeing our stuff. Hundreds of carriers and other distribution partners and their teams. We tap into that? Think of the things we could accomplish. It really is a golden opportunity, especially right now, right? Uh, but let's look at the flip side of this, you know, of the foundation supporting communities. Well, the flip side to that is looking at who it is that supports the Nail but Charitable Foundation, right? For years, there has been this separate main stage recognition for the NCF donors. But moving forward, the Douglas Moores Award event is now going to include a great opportunity to feature uh, the support that the foundation receives, which I think is just a fantastic initiative. It's very similar to the donor honor roll that we publish in Nail Perspectives every year. So can you talk a little bit about the people, you know, the companies who are supporting the foundation and then subsequently how that support is distributed? Uh, I'd love to, Katie. You're obviously full of great questions today and I appreciate that. I mean, listen, every foundation is only as good as the people supporting it. Our volunteers and those serving on the board a lot of folks to say thank you to, starting with our carrier partners led by Legal in General. They've been with us for a long, long time in the foundation. Along with Mutual of Omaha, thank you guys. Protective, Prudential, One America, Symmetra, and Cincinnati Life, we appreciate your donations and your support. It does make a difference. The marketing groups, AIMCOR, Libra, National Brokerage Agency, and the Marketing Alliance. These groups, along with our hundreds of member agencies, make a difference by their contributions and the matching contributions from the organizations. Five-figure donors, like Barbara Crowley, who's also been a board member, long-term person, and serving on our board. Brad Gordon, Lander Stein, and Warren May. You guys rock. Four-figure donors like Art Jetter, Chad Milner, Tim Moynihan, Todd Villeneuve, BSMG, Empower Brokerage, and LifePro, and many more. We thank you for your passion and your willingness to share with us to make a difference. So a huge foundation thank you for all of the past leadership that have made NCF what it is today, and for all those dedicated and passionate about making it grow. We wanted it to thrive and make a difference and giving back, as I talked about earlier. And again, thank you for all that all of you do and continue to do for the foundation. So Katie, I hope you can see and feel my passion and the tremendous opportunities we have at NCF going forward. These are the reasons why I'm back <laughs> and why I wanna to continue to give. So always a pleasure to have a chance to do this with you. Hopefully I've answered your questions. Oh, completely and very well too. And I would just once more say on behalf of all of us, Jim, you know, congratulations again. We know you're going to do an excellent job. You have such a powerful story and we're also so happy to hear that you're still doing so well. Uh, thank you, Katie. It means so much and I appreciate our friendship as well.